Hi everyone, and welcome to Almost Cancelled. I'm Pierre, and I'm joined with Mario. What's up, guys? And Connor. Hey, everyone. We're going to talk about I Zombie Season 2, Episode 14. The episode is called Eternal Sunshine of the Caffeinated Mind. Full spoilers for the episode, as always, and uh, let's get into it. This was a great episode of I Zombie. Yeah, one of the best. Yeah. Yeah. Really great. It was great at multiple levels. It had lots of big things happen. We'd spoken the last couple of episodes about how they were kind of moving the pieces around the board kind of episodes where not terribly exciting, but just getting things in place. This is where we got a lot of payoff, I think, for a lot of yeah, it. definitely. So first of all, um, Liv eats the brain of a very, very cheery coffee shop owner who is very positive about everything. Oh, someone that someone that positive would annoy me. I'd want to punch him in the face after like a day. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm sure Mario was like hating, <laughs> hating loving this episode, despising the positivity coming from her. Too positive. I need some, some killing, some angry. <laughs> hey, this cursing. entire show is based around death and then eating the brain. There's always killing. It's true. That said, I, I feel like. I don't think I've ever thought of Mario more in a single moment of any media than when Ravi reacts to the girl saying that she's never seen Star Wars. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That cracked me up. I really did. It's the way he thought she was referencing it with the Ford thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that cracked me up There's so much. Uh, it was just the look in his face. The look in his face. It was. It's like <laughs> she just said she was a pedophile or something. It was... It was yeah. it was pure horror. Oh dear. Um like the bit with the Falcon was good too. Yeah. Like Lennon Falcon. He like goes off. It's like that, that modified YT one in the crater. <laughs> yeah, he could have just said, you know, that one from Star Wars. <laughs> he had to <laughs> go into the detail. Um so that that was a great great joke. But uh now a lot of big stuff, so let's tackle them. Yeah, so Liv's ate the, the brains of the coffee shop owner and we have that case. And that case is fine. It's, you know, it's, it's sort of a typical fun eye zombie case with twists and turns of who's involved. But what I love about it is that it has Liv in this tranquil happiness the whole episode because that's the way the brain has her in. Yeah, and she yeah. just flip everything into a positive. Yeah. yeah. And then I like that when she finds out at the end we finally get the Holy shit, the redhead that Major was banging is Love's roommate, and now he knows. We finally got that moment. And even though the, it was brought up in the previously on, the, the way they kind of teased it as if it was the new boyfriend was going to walk in, it it didn't make me think that it was going to be her. It's because it was yeah. so late in the episode as yeah. well, so we kind of forgotten about that previously by that point. Yeah, so yeah. I, but then she opens the door, and I'm like, oh shit, that's right. And then Liv actually has a line where she says, oh, it's funny how... It's, long it's taken you two to actually meet each other yeah which i thought was a little sort of meta wink wink <laughs> like definitely um and also i want to speculate do you think major intentionally said the wrong nope. name no because no, i think he the whole point he was there to tell her about everything mm. and he would have explained it in in the process yeah mm. whereas yeah. him saying that there was just a slip up and he fucked up big time yeah fair that's fair i thought he just she just fucking punched her it's awesome uh, that was well, Joe. Well, George, you ever? It's like I was saying, she's so happy and positive there, but that that's such a big thing to piss her off that it overrides the brain, that it overrides the the personality. I I was almost worried as to what was going to happen. I was like, is she going to go like full on zombie, like the 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 redhead? I was mm. like, wait, is she a zombie and going to flip out in return or something? I, I didn't know where it was if it was going to go that way. And then on top of that, we've never actually seen Love throw a punch. I don't think. <laughs> I mean, yeah, she did the whole superhero killed. episode. Yeah. Yeah, I guess, I mean, maybe not, but... This felt more... Like a proper yeah. angry punch. Like, she she was pissed. Yeah. Um, and called her on shit. So that was big development, number one. Big development, number two. The guy she's been seeing, whose name I can't remember. It took me, like, a season and a half to remember some of the other... I want to say Luke, but I'm not sure. I'm not even convinced. Henchman boyfriend guy. Henchman yeah, boyfriend guy. Um, so the daddy from Veronica Mars shows up as a cop. Um, nice to see him. 
You watch Roy Kamara's Mario, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. yeah so. I watch all of it, but I've seen most of it. Yeah. So you, you, you know him. You recognize him. Yeah. And uh, they arrest it's interesting him. interesting to see him in the same, similar role. Yeah, he's a cop again. Although he seems a bit more happy-go-lucky. Yeah. In this. Um, but he, uh, he arrests him and all of his cronies. And Love's boyfriend puts up a bit more of a fight. And I have to admit, like, I didn't... I, ca- I called it in the scene. Like, as hmm. soon as they started talking in the scene, it was revealed, I got it. Like, I just got it from the way they were speaking. Right, okay, he's a cop, he's undercover. But before that scene, it never even crossed my mind. Yeah. I think the reason it didn't cross anyone's mind is because they're already doing the undercover stuff with Major. Hmm. So you kind of feel like, well, they're not going to do two undercover things at the same I, time. I think it's more because they presented him as being pretty dumb. Hmm. Like, mm-hmm. he never really seemed like he had much going on. I didn't have anything. It felt kind of, like, stagnant because he was just kind of there. Yeah. Like, he the complicates that... it because he was kind of being sketchy sometimes. And obviously he's involved with, with uh, the villain. But other than that, there wasn't really anything past that. So it just seemed like this dumb thing that's just going to be there for the season. And eventually just will get back with Major or whatever. Yeah, because I thought he was going to go away a lot quicker than he did. Or, you know, yeah. he hasn't at all yet. But, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I thought... Oh, yeah, this this fling is just going to be well. She's got the horny brain, and then she's going to awkwardly break it off next episode. But then it kept kind of going anyway. Yeah, and it did feel kind of weird. But this has added a whole more interesting level to it. I think another reason no one really suspects anything is because he's a zombie, which sounds weird. Because but the only zombie that we've seen doing something like that is Liv. All the others mm-hmm. kind of seem to be on the immoral side of things. Yeah, mm-hmm. well, it get, it get it makes sense that he was already undercover. And then became a zombie. Yeah. You know? Um, so it's, it's interesting. It adds a whole interest on another uh, dynamic. Um, yeah, and now they're adding this layer of him having to choose between his job and live. Yeah. Mm. So now that Major's secret's out in the open, we've got a new one to keep from live for a while. <laughs> oh, this one's a lot more positive, to be fair. Yeah. It's like if she finds out about this, she'll be worried for him. Probably, mm. but not angry at him. But they did a pretty good job of like making you. Know, it seemed like he killed someone in the last episode. You know, uh, yeah. Mister Boss sent him on the his job, and they, they, they did a good job of making us think, oh, he's a bad guy because he, he he did feel like a dumb thug. Yeah. And then this episode sort of flipped it around, and yeah, fair play, fair play. That was good. It was really good. Yeah. Just surprised me. Just really got me interested in, in the show again. Like, not that it didn't interest me in the show, but it was just. We kind of just watch it to watch the characters interact and what they're mm-hmm. going to do, but this kind of added me be interested in what's actually happening in them episode to episode. And Joe Ellis did that for me. Blaine getting his throat slit. Yeah. Yeah. That was <laughs> that huge. Was, that was intense. Yeah. It was, it was, it was, all the build up was good, right? But, and I was expecting it because I, I called what was going to happen. This felt a little bit more predictable. I thought as soon as it was getting clear that he was going to get murdered, I was like, He's coming back as a zombie. I'd seen it way earlier than that. It was it was when he was tasting the wines, and he was like, "These all taste off." Was his taste buds going back again? Mm. All right, yeah. And, I... and then obviously before that, we see um, that the girl he sleeps with turns into a zombie as well. I can't remember her name. His her like his like assistant. Yeah, she was yeah. already a zombie. I, I, she I... wasn't already a zombie before that, though. That she was. I didn't think she was. I thought she turned. I thought because. She's oh, so that explains brain. why he comes he, down the guy was shocked. freaked out yeah. when she was... Because oh. she got it from him when, when they slept together. Because he yeah, was and... turning back and it started to activate again and, and passed it to her then. Interesting. So it was like seeded throughout the whole episode rather than just that scene at the end. Oh, I don't remember any of this. Yeah, he comes down and she's uh, she's eating rains just randomly in the basement. Yeah, that's why that's why she's not like have a set meal or anything. It's because that's her yeah. first thing. She's just woken up hungry and it's just eating a brain. Yeah, I feel I didn't. Get, I did. I did think why is this? Why is this thing? Why is the scene here? But now yeah. that you mentioned it, it, makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, but how do we know that's how she became a zombie? Because they spoke before about how uh, Ravi spoke how it was. It can be sexually transmitted. Yeah, there was. I mean, there was an episode with when Liv and Major were going. We're kind of like involved again. Yeah, yeah, yeah but, no, no, I, I get that, but how do we know that's how she became a zombie? Well, she wasn't before, and the last scene we saw her in, it was when he, he she was in his office, and he was trying out the wines, 
she says something like, oh, there's another one over here, blah, blah, blah. She turns around and, like, bends over in front of him. And then, and then she, she wakes asks, up after they've clearly slept together. Yeah, oh. she, she he asks her, do because you still have that outfit? You're probably right probably now that you're there. you're pointing out the, the details to me, but I didn't read it like that when he got up at the end. Did I, you know? No, I read it as they killed him, so he, like because he used to be a zombie, and then they I killed him, he came back as a zombie. The triggered See, the zombie. No, nah, I think that just... I, th- I thought he was reverting anyway because of the other stuff. Like the wine really tipped me off. Like it was his taste buds going again. There was no, there was no hot sauce in it, so it was just it wasn't, it wasn't right because he couldn't, he wasn't tasting everything again. It was, it was some of it was dulled. No, I, 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 now that you're pointing it out, it makes sense. But I just thought that the the stress or the experience of getting like basically getting killed caused the zombie to trigger again, and that's why he reverted. I never even thought it was a stress. I thought it was like a Walking Dead type deal because he already had it in him. Uh, it was just a case of when mm. he dies, he's just going to become a zombie no matter what. Mm. So that's three different theories <laughs> 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 as to why he's a zombie. <laughs> but either way, um, I knew it was coming. I knew they weren't going to actually get rid of him. I knew he's still going to be here at the end of this. Yeah, there's no way they get rid of Blaine yeah. if they build him up that much. And uh, I actually thought the scene of him getting up, I think it was, it was, the song was playing and he was walking past the Girl Scouts. Mm. <laughs> He's covered in mud. Really great scene. Um, and that came right after the, the Live Rita uh, inter, you know, altercation. Yeah. You know? Um, so, no, so that was the other big thing. So the three big things happened in this episode, really. Yeah. We had boyfriend's a cop who's undercover investigating the boss, or big boss, or whatever his name is. Mr. Boss. Mr. Boss, there you go. And then Liv knows about Rita being the one that Major was with, so she, presumably next time we're going to, she's going to find out about all the other stuff, stuff yeah, yeah. that Major's been up to. Yeah. Um, and Blaine is now a zombie again. Which does beg the question... Is Major... Is Major, yeah... Zombie fine anytime soon because mm. mm, they're on the same. Well, well, the thing is, are they on the exact same time scale, or does it react differently to different people? So, does he have a little bit of time still? Because obviously, the other real, the other big thing we got in this as well was the other rat, where they tried the cure on the previously cured rat, mm. and it it went all fucked up. So you can't reuse that same cure. Yeah, I think we're all Resident Evil in the whole situation. Yeah, make crimson head. <laughs> Another reference for you. Um, yeah, no, it was a good episode though. A um, lot of big stuff happened. Um, the, I mean, the actual plot with the the the, the death of the the co- coffee owner, it was fine. Like uh, it was nice. It was seeing... it was fun. Like the fake yeah. French guy. Yeah, yeah, that was show. a good reveal too. I think I was annoying as hell, and he's like, when she calls his mom, uh, it's like, no, he's never been past Idaho or something. Yeah, it's great. It, uh, it is a rare occasion, though, where the subplots are more interesting than the, the main plot, so to speak. There was a lot of subplots, yeah. though, and they were all interesting. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the, uh, I think the daughter in that, that case was, is that not her from uh, Hannibal? Yeah, it was. Yeah, I thought I recognised her. She was in X-Files as well recently, right? She's, she's got in a, a lot of stuff now. Yeah, she's been popping mm. up. Um... But no, that was fine. Um, but no, no, the good stuff. Um, so maybe excited for the rest of the season because that was episode fourteen, and we have nineteen. So yeah, left. yeah. Although we might have to wait a month now for another fucking episode. Yeah, Damn, we, that's terrible. Yeah, we may be on a break, so you may not get a review next week because there's no episode. So, well, the next few weeks, I should say. So, um, it's a shame. But I mean. If they're going to leave us on a, a big, big episode to, you know, to quench our thirst, it's this one. Yeah, you know how before they got the the extra episodes at the end, and mm-hmm. they said it was going to be really unsatisfying. If... It, well, yeah, because that, that, that wouldn't that wouldn't have been this one. No, been no but it would have been thirteen. But I can imagine that they would have condensed this into that point. So this would have been the point where it ended. And then when they got the extra ones, they kind of stretched it out. Mm. No, they wouldn't, because they'd already written thirteen by the point they. Renewed, I think. Do you reckon? I, yeah. I, I, I'm not I, sure. I, I don't know. I don't think they'd have had time to rewrite the last episode. By the, t- by the time they got that that order, I'm not sure. I, I think. 
I really feel like this if they if they were going to go out on a break and like they were like oh, that's going to end it, they, I think they would have ended it on that cliffhanger there with, with Blaine getting up. And, like that would have been the moment they'd have ended it on. Oh, no, because that wouldn't have been for the season. No, because frustrating was would have been last episode. No, I think this would have been way more frustrating. All those pieces are in play now, and then you have no idea what happens after that. That's way more frustrating. Mm. At least stuff kind of get resolved in this episode, though, and it ended in cliffhangers. Did it get resolved? Well, not resolved, but we, we, it raised the game. The point is, though, is that it was episode 13 was the last one. It was. We, we, we I really the last one. Out. I don't think they did. I think... Well, no, I don't. That's Bad Eye Zombie this week. And you can hear more of the Ginger's annoying word, opinions in a few weeks' time. Possibly four. Yeah, maybe a whole month. That sucks, doesn't it? So we're long. getting Age of the Shield in two weeks. Yeah, he's just coming back. Yeah. And we get a break from Arrow. We do get a blast. nice. <laughs> that is nice. <laughs> That's how it's on me for this week.